Well, only on four. For the first time, we are sitting down with the brother of Shelby Farah. You'll remember she's the 20-year-old cell phone store manager killed in 2013. Now, Caleb Farah is talking with us about a very public fight between prosecutors and defense attorneys about the fate of his sister's accused killer. The state attorney's office wants the death penalty for James Rose. His defense team wants life in prison in exchange for a guilty plea. Well, now, Caleb and his mother, Darlene, are disagreeing, especially after Caleb watched the security video showing his sister's death. Channel 4's Vic Michalucci spoke exclusively with Caleb Farah about the toll it's taken on him. Caleb Farah is 19 years old now. He was just 16 when his sister was murdered. Recently, he watched the video of her death. He tells me it was his decision, and no one, not even the state attorney, forced him to view it. I don't even think she said, here's the money, because I didn't see her mouth moving at all. It was one of those. And then he just saw it. Caleb Farah tells us what he saw in the surveillance video from the Metro PCS where his older sister was killed nearly three years ago. He recently watched the video of Shelby's death with lead prosecutor Bernie De La Rionda. It's um, a thousand things running through my mind one time. I get headaches. It's... Um, I think about what she said, you know what I mean, if she even said anything, um, you know. Was it worse than you expected when you saw the video? It was bad. It was almost like I'm playing Grand Theft Auto and I shoot someone for no reason. No emotion? No. And that's one reason why he wants suspected shooter James Rhodes to be executed. He says Rhodes was eerily calm, like in a video game. The lack, the lack of remorse and sympathy is amazing. Losing his best friend has been a nightmare, but lately Caleb says it's gotten even worse. Prosecutors and defense attorneys are butting heads over whether Rhodes should face the death penalty if he's convicted. The public defender and Shelby and Caleb's mother want life in prison in exchange for a plea deal. The the state attorneys and Caleb want death. Has everybody forgotten about the victim? Last week, both sides sparred in court. It shouldn't be like this, how it was between the prosecutor and I on the stand. Is it difficult having all this drama going on behind the scenes that's now being played out in the public eye? Yeah, it, um, <laughs> it's, uh, it's difficult. Uh, I mean, does it cause friction? Yes. You know, but who doesn't, who doesn't differ with their parents sometimes? People should just really pretty much mind their own business. Like, if, if me and my mom differ, that's fine. Everyone differs. There is no happy ending for this family. Caleb says the pain will never go away. But he won't change his mind about the death penalty and tells us neither will his mother. Whatever anyone says to me is not going to change. My opinion is not going to change how I feel, and obviously nothing will change how she feels. And I just spoke with Caleb's mother, Darlene. She tells me that she respects her son's opinion, and she's happy that he's speaking out and voicing his side of the story. James Rhodes set to go on trial in May. Downtown at the courthouse, I'm Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, The Local Station.